Good day, students. In this group, we're going to be going over an example on how to calculate the range, median, and quartile range, and also how to sketch our box and list script box. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the question. All right, so let's let's write it down. Um, so question number one: uh, for the given data set, for the given uh, data set, let's say the data set is. Um, Seven, six, five, five, nine, ten, eleven, ten, nine. So for this given data set, uh, calculate A the range, B the median, C the, th the three quartiles three quartiles uh, the uh, the interquartile range interquartile range uh, also referred to as the IQR and last but not the list uh, um, Make a or sketch a uh, box and list of box. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and um, and do this one by one. Start from number one. Number one is you have to compute the range. So you have to be really careful. The range and the interquartile range are two uh, different things. Okay, the range just has to do with uh, the range of the data set uh, from smallest to the difference between the first and the last. Um, elements of the ordered data set and then interquartile range involves using the, the two of the quartiles okay all right so let's find the range before we do that let's order the elements of our set in ascending order so let's start from the smallest one the smallest one is we have a five let's press that out we have another five let's press that out and let's see we have a six press that out and then next we have a seven. Press that out. No more sevens, eight, no eights. And then we have two nines. Press those two out. And then we have two tens. Ten, ten. And then we have an eleven. Okay, so let's compute real quick. How many? Let's count how many terms we have just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My elements there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Excellent. So we have all the elements of the set accounted for. All right. So the range is basically the um, smallest, the biggest minus the smallest. So the range in this case is going to be uh, 11 minus 5, which is 6. All right. Okay. Let's move on to part B. We asked to find the median. Now, it depends on the number of um, elements in your data set that determines how easy or difficult it is to find the median, okay? If you have an odd number of elements in your set, you always have a middle number. That will be your median. But if you have an even number of elements in your set, you have to average the two numbers in the center. In this case, we have nine elements in our set, so finding the median will be really easy. So um, you can count from outside to inside. So uh, let's count from out to inside so you can take from the left count one step in then from the right one step in and then another step another step you can do this with your two fingers um, and you just count in another step and then another step boom so we took three steps in and then we left with a number in the center so when you're counting from the outside to the inside if you have a, lump, a number left in the center that's the median okay so our median is going to be nine. But if you have two numbers in the center, you average those two, and that will give you the value of your median. All right, so here we have odd numbers, so we have a um, unique median here. No computations are necessary. All right, so there goes our median. Now we're asked to find the three quartiles. What on earth are the three quartiles? The three quartiles are basically your um, Lower, uh, lower quartile, your median, and your upper quartile, or it's also known as the first, second, and third quartiles, okay? So, guess what? We already have one of them, uh, Q1, 
Q2 is also known as a median and is also known as a second quartile. And we already know what that is. The second quartile is um, nine. Okay. Now this separates the data set into two groups that can help us find um, the lower and the upper quartile. Okay. Now if we go to the left or to the lower region of the median, that the middle number in the lower set is the lower quartile of the first quartile, and in the upper to, or to the right of the median, we can find the um, upper quartile or the third quartile, okay? So let's uh, take a look at our data set again. Um, now you notice, let me, let me rewrite it here so that we can compute our quartiles properly. Five, five, six, seven, nine, nine, 10, 10, 11. Now you notice that this element is in the center, okay? If we have a unique element in the center, we're gonna eliminate it. Now you notice that our data set has been split into two uh, regions, or into two groups, okay? Now in this new data set to the left, this data set consists of the lower quartile, or quartile um, two, I mean quartile one, okay? So we're gonna find the center number in the to the left of the lower of to the left of the median okay so you notice that you have four elements which is even so you have an even number of elements in a set then you will have to do some computation to determine what the lower quartile is so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these two numbers in the center we have two central central numbers and then we're going to average these two to find what uh the lower quartile is okay so q1 also known as a lower quartile. That's simply the average of these two numbers in the center. So it's going to be 5 plus 6 over 2. The reason we're averaging is because we have an even number of elements in the set or we have two numbers in the center. If we were odd, we had had a unique um, element as the lower quartile. Okay, 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 over 2 is 5.5. Okay, so that's what Q1 is. So Q1 is 5.5, which is also the lower quartile. We have to find three quartiles. We have two. The third one, Q3, is also known as the upper quartile, which is to the left side um, of, I mean, to the right side of the median. Okay. All right. So to find the upper quartile or Q3, we're going to look um, to the to this to the elements to the right of the median and find the middle number there. The median of the upper region okay so the um we'll take a look at all these elements right here to find the upper quartile now you notice that we also have an odd even number of elements just like the lower quartile they always match if you have even here you have even there too we have an even number of elements here one two three four so we have to do some work to find the median right so what we have to do is we're going to take these two numbers and we're going to average them and that will tell us what the upper quartile um, or, or the third quartile is. All right, so to find Q3 or the upper quartile, we're simply going to add 10 and 10 and divide by 2. Remember, we have to do this work because we have an even number of elements in the set to the right um, of our median, okay? So 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 over 2 is 10. All right, so there goes our quartiles. All right, so let's organize it. Q1 is 5.5. Q2 is uh, the median, which is 9. And then the third quartile, Q3, is 10. So these are the quartiles of our uh, data sets. Now, option D asks us to find the interquartile range. Uh, the interquartile range, um, and D, IQR can be simply computed using the formula Q. One, I mean Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so it's a range of the quartiles. You know, if, if you look at the two quartiles, the quartile one and quartile three, what is the range in between them? That's what your interquartile range is. Okay, so we already know that quartile three is 10 minus quartile one, which is 5.5. That's how you compute your interquartile range. And then if you compute this uh, difference, you're going to have 4.5. All right. So remember, interquartile range is also the same thing as the upper quartile minus 
the lower quartile. You don't need the the median of the second quartile doesn't uh, play any role in the computation or determination of of the interquartile range after you've determined the third and the first quartile. You just plug it into this formula. Okay? And then you have 4.5. Alright, option E. Now we're going to uh, make a uh, a box and whisker plot of this data set making use of the um the elements of the set so we're going to draw a number line we're going to go from one all the way to ten um and then we're going to uh, go ahead and graph it graph the box and whisker plot okay so let's do this all right so let's go ahead and calibrate our number line uh so this is zero uh which is three boxes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay all right so in our data set uh the extremes the max and the min are 5 and 11, okay? So the range, another way to compute the range I forgot to state it, is basically the max, the maximum value minus the minimum value. That's, that's how you compute the range. That's a formula. So the minimum is 5 and the maximum is 11. So let's go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is just graph the points first. So we graph the minimum, uh, which is 5. And then the maximum, which is 11. Okay, so guess what I'm going to graph next? I have the max and the min. The next I'm going to graph are my um, I'm going to graph my quartiles. Okay, so the max and the min. Now I'm going to graph the quartiles. Now uh, the lower quartile is Q1 is 5.5. So right here in the center is Q1. The uh, median. Q2 is 9, and then the upper quartile, Q3, is 10, okay? All right, so you, what you do to draw your line, to draw the whiskers, you just connect the uh, lower quartile to the minimum, like that, and then the upper quartile to the maximum. Those are the, those are the lines that you draw. Let me draw that again. So the upper quartile to uh, the uh, maximum, all right? Okay, so um, now we're gonna draw our box. Let's go ahead and draw the box. So, that's your box. Draw a line on the uh, lower quartile and the upper quartile. Okay, and then connect your lines this way. And there goes your box. Okay, I'm missing one thing. Guess what I'm missing? You have to draw the median. Okay, and there goes your median right there. So there goes your box and whisker plot. Um, uh, let's just let's just put some things into our results. So from this value, let's trace it down. This value right here, 5.5, all the way to 10. This range is basically our, uh, that's our interquartile range, right? From Q1 to Q3. Let me see, use a different line. That's our interquartile range. All right, so that, that goes our interquartile range. Um, this, this is Q1 or the lower quartile. This is Q3 or the upper quartile. And this right here is the interquartile range, IQR, which is Q. 3 minus Q1, okay? Then there's the interquartile range. Now, uh, this p this region right here is known as the lower quartile range. And then the other region to the right of the median is the upper, upper quartile range, okay? When you add them together, you get an interquartile range, all right? Okay, and then uh, we also have the max and the min. Let's, in let's indicate where those are. So this is the mean right here 5 and 11 right here that's the max so there basically goes your uh, range okay so this right here is a range and then the range is basically your uh, max 
minus your min. Okay, and then uh, this central point right here, that's simply your uh, Q, Q, um, Q2 or your median. Okay, that's the value right here, so Q2 or your median. This helps you orient to the other pieces of information, so let's put that in. So there goes your Q2. Alright, so there you have it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking um, up here to subscribe. And then please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on mod.serve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.